Amazon plans to invest nearly $13 billion into its cloud business in India by 2030. Amazon Web Services is doubling down on its India bet, and the global CEO of AWS believes India is, and I quote, absolutely critical to the company's growth strategy. The move comes at a time when Amazon has scaled down some of its services. It has shut down its online learning platform, food delivery, and wholesale distribution businesses. Speaking exclusively to CNBC TV 18, AWS CEO Adam Silipsky said there is tremendous optimism about the cloud business growth in India. He also spoke about Amazon's big bet on artificial intelligence and the company's plans to democratize generative AI. I'm very pleased to announce today that AWS plans to invest an additional 12.7 billion US dollars in our local cloud infrastructure in India by 2030. So on top of the, uh, the existing uh, uh, investment, We'll be investing another 12.7 for a total of 16.4 billion US dollars by the year 2040. Sorry, 2030. 2030. And finally, I'll just say we're also working really hard on upskilling India's digital workforce. It's a critical initiative. There, there is going to be a big lack of cloud skills, a big gap between what's needed and the available workforce over the coming years. And we're trying to help close that gap. You know, which are the sectors that you believe are the most vulnerable in terms of the challenges that we're seeing today? Where do you believe the spends are being impacted the most? Well, I think you've seen uh, some amount of this happening across industries. I wouldn't say it's any one country. I wouldn't say it's any one sector. And, uh, you know, again, I don't think there's any uh, real new news here in terms of the uh, very unusual economy and number of surprises the world has had the past few years. Uh, ranging from the pandemic to, of course, uh, all of the impacts of the uh, war in Ukraine uh, and the, the impact that that's had. But we still see tremendous uh, signs of optimism. So just to stick with financial services, uh, I was very recently in India, as I mentioned, and spent time with many of the largest banks there. And just one exciting example is Axis Bank. So, of course, Axis is the third largest private sector bank in India. And they've selected AWS as their primary cloud provider, and they're going to work with us to accelerate their digital transformation. And in fact, the bank plans to migrate 70%, 70% of their total workloads to the cloud over the next two years. Now, you know, how much of a bet are you willing to make on AI and how large of a focus is that likely to be? Uh, your competitor, Microsoft, for instance, the CFO is talking about AI service tools adding about one percentage point to uh, revenue as well as revenues in Q2. Now, what could this typically mean for AWS going forward? How large of an AI bet are you willing to take? Uh, we're making extremely large uh, bets in, in AI and in machine learning in general. Uh, I mean, Amazon has actually been a leader in machine learning and AI for literally decades. If you go back to the late 1990s, you have personalization on the AWS retail website is really artificial intelligence. And in 2017, we launched uh, SageMaker, which is an AWS machine learning platform that has over 100,000 AWS customers and is the leading machine learning platform in the world. So we have a lot of experience. We've been investing in AI for years. Uh, there are uh, foundation models, LLMs, as uh, folks are calling these large language models, mm -hmm. uh, in operation today inside of Amazon, powering Alexa, powering search on the retail site. But uh, Amazon intends to double down, triple down on all of these investments and to uh, continue to really be a leader in generative AI. Uh, we do think that virtually every application that people see, that people interact with, uh, will be transformed in some way by, by generative AI. And we know it's really important for our customers that we be the provider of those solutions to them. Um, so we've actually recently announced a bunch of innovations already uh, across uh, the generative AI space. Um, one of the biggest is uh, Amazon Bedrock, uh, which is a, a new easy way to scale and build enterprise-ready generative AI applications. Mm. So the idea here is that we're trying, just like AWS has tried to democratize IT for over 17 years, we're going to democratize a generative AI. And you can catch that full interview with AWS's CEO Adam Silipsky at 7.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. tonight, right here on CNBC TV 18.